Welcome back to another video. Today's review is focused on Atlanta season four, episode four, entitled Light Skin Ed. And the official synopsis of this episode is my family is so crazy. We need our own reality TV show. How you still got beef from the 70s? Phew. And y'all need to stop flirting with people's daddies. And before I give out my review, Please like the video, subscribe or comment, or just watch the video and keep going on with your day. Episode four was pretty interesting. At the same time, very relatable when it comes with just the family dynamics and just the family issues at play. But yeah, here we go. So the episode basically just focuses on Ern and Al's family as we are introduced to a new a few new family members that we haven't seen before, such as the aunt. Um, Cat Williams is back in here. Of course, we see Ern's parents for the first time, I think like season one or two. And this episode was just a whole mess and everything goes as Ern is going to church with his mom, his aunt and his grandpa. And everything just seems fine at first until Ern's mom talks about her and her sister's issues when it comes with their father as they didn't talk for a long time she thinks that the father is basically being neglected by the sister and the reason why he's with the sister is because of just the alimony money um just getting that money like on a month-to-month -month basis and just making sure that other stuff happens and then basically what happens is that Ern's mom basically takes back her father from Aunt Jeannie and Aunt Jeannie is basically like a Karen type like she's the Karen of the family you may say and she's also light-skinned and that brings in race into a play how people like to make jokes about light-skinned people and how you just have that one family member that's just different in a way not because of race but just other factors that plays that just makes them like different and also kind of like unlikable at the same time and that is exactly what happened with Ern's aunt in this episode as she was a Karen after the crazy situation where the grandpa gets taken she she tries to follow Ern everywhere because she just has that bad suspicion that Ern is involved with his mom taking their dad back and it's a whole weird and just relatable situation at hand with that. Um, in this episode, we saw um, Ern's parents not being around as Ern's father is now retired. Ern's mom is still working, I assume. Ern's father in this episode, it starts off promising, but it ends on a pretty sad note, as you may say. He's just chilling, minding his, his own business. He gets a new hat at the mall, looking like a 1970s player, 1970s pimp and everything else. Some kids basically ruin the entire experience and for some reason just wants to mess with them. And that's how it is nowadays. Like these kids don't really care. And I know I'm still young myself, but you do have some people in society that is really just that careless in a way as they took a picture with them. But I do have a horrible feeling that picture might become a meme, maybe somewhere down the line within these episodes. But in the, in the meanwhile, Al, he is in a recording studio just making music with Gunna as Gunna does have a very short appearance in here. I kind of wish Young Thug was with him as well, too, but I understand he probably couldn't get them at the same time for many different reasons. And Ern's aunt just ruins the entire experience as... She has to call the police. She has to call the mom. She just wants to make sure that the father is okay. She tries to get both Al and Ern arrested because of just randomness of the reasons because she thinks that they're, whole, they're all involved in this whole conspiracy. Like that entire segment of the four-way phone call with the aunts, um, Cat Williams character, Ern's mom and the aunt was definitely relatable because of just family issues, always arguing and just all that kind of stuff. As my family on my father's side is definitely like that, I think in some ways, like after my grandma passed away many years ago, 
that entire side has never been the same since, especially my father. I think there is like more issues that has been messing with the family and it definitely does show sometimes too when it, when I visit them sometimes or what I hear about it from the other family members. But yeah, um, yeah, this episode though was just very relatable family issues, family dynamics, the arguments, the beef from 10 to 15 years ago, stuff like that. Um, the episode basically ends with just most of the family at a dinner restaurant just having a good time. Ern's father just pissed off with what happened to him. The grandpa now speaking when he talks about Red Box. And hopefully the night ends on a positive note. But yeah, episode four was pretty good in my opinion. The family dynamics, the family issues was very real when it comes to life itself. I really did enjoy the reference of that kid in white face back in season one with the church segment where all of the singers, the dancers was in white face, just like that kid from season one. Cat Williams making a making a appearance was really interesting. He definitely should have been in more episodes in this series. Gunna making an appearance was pretty dope to see as well, too. Um, Ern and Al's family definitely relatable definitely real at times and just the whole issues family dynamic was pretty good how it how it was talked about in here but cool episode can't wait to see what happens next um and until next time